I know this is a haiku event. Sometimes people think I'm like haiku obsessed, but actually I write sonnets. I write freestyle sonnets. And there's this old dude who lives up in Waynesboro, where it used to be a hotel, but the junkies burned it up. So now he just lives up on the Blue Ridge Skyline Drive. His name is Nas Reddy Shifter. He kind of just talks shit around me, and I listen to him. I've been writing sonnets about Nas Reddy. I'm going to do y'all three sonnets real quick. Nas Redden Shiflet reconsidered his deep roots born amid southern mouths detritus neglected from public eye unless publicized photo shoots exploited and hill folks poverty was injected into campaigns for distant office. Yet strange fruit forgotten blossomed Appalachian orthodox with mountain goat beard sharp mind able to compute survival absent of dollars abundant rocks make hard scrabble beds but reposition smooth slabs and earth's jagged surface becomes more caressing. Here, Nas Redden remain far from barrels and crabs, clutching upward, striving towards sure death, stressing limited time, wasting away, focusing mind upward on mountain. Nas Redden shift over the fine. So these all connect. The angle we draw all the connecting ones, and each one's got like a different thing. And I just like the way this one flows, so I'm gonna do this one next. My dominion's union to be one with all kinds, regardless of fence post staking property claims, regardless of clock face industrial incline, regardless of red clay bricks emblazoned with names, regardless of past so beaten they become paid, regardless of accepted advancements new black, regardless of not lost believing they've been saved, regardless of those misperceiving raven back, regardless of deceptions those senses commit, regardless of obstructions human mind creates, regardless of tendency to weakly submit. Regardless of how monthly built debt obfuscates, I live this life searching for peace, not object bliss. I live this life humbly, humbly life gives me this. Yeah. And yo, this one is important to me because I was an English major in college. And as far as I've done in my extensive research and reading and understanding of literature from around the world, nobody's ever written a sonnet about a Caprice classic before. <laughs> <laughs> Brightly, with lime green aura of mystic hilltop Caprice classic glistens with candy flake glimmer. Man's driven box given metaphysical hop with deep water boom Baptist base mirror shimmer. Vibrating with intense energy fermented into moving temple, altering otherwise empty days devoid of sacred space intended specifically for self-reflection. Pure eyes reddened by rolled plant smoke, making complex world blunt in nature, navigating man's culture, cluttered heavily with complicated side tracks. We hunt and gather, universal shine behind shuttered full tent windows, rims like two feet times four with shine. What seems poor choice to some is my I claim by design. So, like, my dream would mostly just be write songs about low riders, to be honest with you. But this is a stifling world. It won't let me just sit around writing songs about low riders. Motherfucking world. <laughs> Alright, coming back up on the lowest power side. Selena! Woo!